And in the studio with me today from the Lincoln County Cooperative Extension Office is Melinda Hauser. And uh, Melinda, before we begin, I'd like to say hello out there to Sandy Alexander, my co-host and executive producer of the show, who's still away on uh, medical, I guess you'd say medical leave. Sandy uh, suffering some health problems a few months ago, but uh, she's making recovery and uh, plans to be back with us. And I, I'm looking forward to having Sandy back here with us. But uh, Melinda, good to see you again. It's It's been a while since we've had yeah. you or anyone from the uh, extension office uh, in for the community profile yes that's correct yeah. but we had some stuff coming up we thought it was very important and need to get the word out on and before we start with what's coming up let's start with one thing that passed we wanted to <laughs> we wanted to get the show in before that uh, yeah. before that event but uh, we, we couldn't get it scheduled before the 28th of uh january mm -hmm. but it was pie day so it was right. a big was a big turnout for pie day yeah we had about 150 people came through and they had we had about Let's see, probably 75 or no, about 40 different pies. Mm -hmm. We had people from Cabarrus County, uh, Catawba County. We had people from Stanley and different places. One lady came in and said, this is my first time, and next next year I'm bringing friends with me. You know? mm -hmm. So the pies were all different, savory pies, sweet pies, just fruit pies, all kinds of different yeah. pies. Yeah. So, so it was real good. We'll have to buy them next year when, when and we meant to bring around. your pie but we <laughs> uh, that's that's okay that's anyway okay. it sure was good it was I, successful I can, I can imagine how wonderful it would be i know just imagine <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah. and you don't gain weight imagine no how, how good <laughs> that's those right pies that's are. true that's true all right well yeah. we've got some things coming up some programs etc mm -hmm. and uh, wh where do you want to start okay i'm gonna talk about ship first we got a couple of things coming up with that and one thing I think a lot of people do know about SHIP, that's the Senior Health Insurance Information Program, and some people don't. And I want to mention that this began in 1986, and this was a program that's under the Department of Insurance of Raleigh. And it's actually all over the nation now, I understand, in almost every state. And North Carolina leads as an example. They have used some of the things that SHIP do, has done in North Carolina. They are also using it in other states because it's been very successful. I've mm -hmm. mentioned we have counselors. We have five counselors and um, people who are inter uh, need to help or whatever with their Medicare, Medicaid, or whatever. And we work closely with DSS, and, but we have five counselors, and we people call in for appointments. We had a big rush during the open enrollment, which was, let's see, that began October the 15th and went through December the 7th. So there was a big rush of people coming in. And some examples of success were we had people who had a, one particular person had a drug that was $25,000 a year. Wow. It was a cancer drug. Mm -hmm. So they actually put these people on a plan that would pay almost all of this That's medication. Wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. So there's assistance out there. We work with Social Security and um, to try to help people. And uh, we stay in touch with some of our local doctors and, and that sort of thing. So it's a good program, saving people lots of money in their pocketbooks, which is very important. Mm -hmm. it's a, because Medicare and uh, the insurance premiums are changing. People are dropping, being dropped from their, medic, um, their premiums and sort of thing. But we try to and work with them diligently. There's one, like one out of every hundred. Sometimes there's, you just can't help. You can't do anything. Mm -hmm. But we try to do all we can and, and go every avenue that can be thought of to help people with their prescription drug plans, their uh, Medicare supplement plans, and, and how to deal with it. Now, they do not uh, tell you what to sign up for as far as like a, a drug plan, but they show you what's available, mm -hmm. what fits your financial status, and mm -hmm. also what will cover your drugs that's the main thing mm -hmm. so so these are these are not people selling insurance no 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 we don't these sell are insurance. just these are folks there to advise you and to yeah. help you look at your options yeah. and mm -hmm. you make the decision right uh, yeah you bring in a list of your medications or actually you can bring your medications in and they put these on uh they go online all this is done online and uh, which is helpful and they show you what's available depending on what medicines you're taking. Some people are taking 20 and 25 medications, which, mm. and, and that's expensive. We know that. So anyway, there's, there's a big help, and there's no information is not put out to the world about your personal whatever information or mm. nothing. Mm -hmm. This is all big. Um, it's, it's 
nothing is indulged. It's mm-hmm. very private. Mm-hmm. And, but it's helped and saved people lots of money and because some people have to make a choice sometimes. Are we going to eat or are we going to buy our medication? Mm-hmm. And there's yeah. lots of that going on No now. one should have to No choose. one should have to do that. Mm-hmm. So one of the things we're doing, and we're doing it soon, and this is on February the 17th. That's on a Wednesday. And beginning at 10 o'clock, we have somebody from Social Security and DSS will be speaking. Our counselors will be speaking. I will be speaking. And we're going to answer questions or and first give a little synopsis of things that are available and what things that are happening with Medicare and, and insurance and that sort of thing. And then this is in the James Warren Citizen Center in Lincoln. And so you need to register for this because we're providing lunch that day. And so we need to know how many people will be coming. And so especially people turning 65, we're finding out that people wait too long sometimes to sign up for their Medicare or their uh, prescription drug plans, and there is a penalty. And so, but please, this is a program. It's open to anyone interested in this. Um, People getting ready to turn 65, people who are planning in the maybe a year, two years from now, you may be wanting to come or... uh, you need to sign up. You need to start thinking about it. But things are changing so fast. That's what's that's the killer. I mm-hmm. might say on that. And I wanted to share one thing too. We got we just had an uh, um, an update. I might mention the counselors are trained through the Department of Insurance in this program, and we have an update every month on what's going on. And and one thing I want to mention too, and some of you probably already know this, talking about the general election period, and we think about beneficiaries who fail to sign up for Medicare during their initial enrollment, pe- enrollment period. And I'm talking about people who are turning 65 and they say, oh, it's already slipped by. But, and you don't qualify for a special enrollment period. There's certain people can apply for that. You can enroll in Medicare between January the 1st and March the 31st of this year, or each year. Mm-hmm. And their benefits will not begin until July the first of that year, so that's not a good thing, but you've mm-hmm. waited too long, you know. Mm-hmm. But And you may be subject to a penalty, open enrollment, uh, a late enrollment period, a mm-hmm. penalty rather. Okay. But you can do that, so think about that. If you haven't, if you've already turned 65 and you think, oh, I forgot, I should have done that, mm-hmm. then you can enroll now, you know, between January the 1st and, and March the 31st. Mm-hmm. There's another plan out there, Medicare Advantage uh, Distant Enrollment Period. Some people have... Um, Medicare Advantage pr- plans. Mm-hmm. So there is a disenrollment period now. It's from January the 1st through February the 14th, which is right away. And during this time, now we're talking about Medicare Advantage plans, a beneficiary can switch from a Medicare Advantage plan or Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan to original Medicare. The enrollment will be effected the first day of the month following the change. And a beneficiary can also use this time to enroll in a Part D plan, even if the uh, Medicare Advantage plan did not offer drug coverage. The old program did allow beneficiaries to add Part D coverage if they did not have such coverage at the beginning of the year. So some people are changing. So now's the time. Remember January, for, January the 1st through February the 14th, which is like, what, a week and a half away or two uh, weeks away? February 14th. Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, couple Sundays away. Yeah, yeah, and I'm talking about Medicare Advantage mm-hmm. only. Okay, so I just wanted people to be aware of that. So that's the reason we have this SHIP program. It's amazing, and uh, it's an education type thing. You know, knowledge is powerful. So we all need to be knowledgeable of what's going on around us, and especially this. Insurance is expensive in most cases, but this can help you, and I hope this will give you an idea. But remember this program. And we're, we're calling it Shine the Light on Medicare. Mm-hmm. And so we got door prizes to give out and all kinds of good things. And then a lunch we're going to provide for you. Mm-hmm. And don't forget, it's February the 17th on a Wednesday. You can uh, announce this oh, yeah. some more, too. Glad to. So we got a, pro, uh, a flyer here. Mm-hmm. So don't mm-hmm. forget, and this is free. A free program. A free, so don't forget. Mm-hmm. Now, one program, uh, but just don't forget that. Mark it, in your, mark it on your calendar. Mm-hmm. Okay, another program we're doing this week, and that's Thursday, February the 4th. And this is called the, uh, the Division of Services for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. And so this program will include, of course, hearing devices, uh, information about hearing devices, types of devices, assistance. Now, some people on limited income. So if you need certain hearing devices, you may get some in- information about this. And th- th- you can receive assistance, which is good. Because there's certain uh, there's different degrees of hearing loss, and mm-hmm. I know that happens. Some people, 
lose hearing in certain ears, and you don't have to be a certain age either. This can happen at younger ages, people. Sometimes it's hereditary, sometimes it just happens. So this will be a uh, question and answer period and learning about devices, and if and you may be able to receive assistance if it depends on income and that sort of thing. So this will be in the Citizen Center, James Warren Citizen Center, and that is this Thursday, February the 4th, and we're providing lunch for that also. So don't forget this. I'm going to share this with you mm -hmm. too. Okay, thank you. Okay, so there's lots of things going on, and another thing I want to mention too People get concerned about, we think about, are you prepared for the future? And it's never l too late to plan. So we are doing a program. We're not doing it. We're having um, an attorney do it. Uh, it's a program on, uh, and Greg McIntyre, I believe he's out of Shelby. Oh, yeah. We, Greg's one of our regulars here. He, McIntyre, he, yeah. He, he has he, his he, own show here yeah, on Fridays. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so he's doing a program for us, and you know, it's, it's going to be talking about protecting your property. And uh, as you grow older and sometimes accidents happen all of a sudden, any age, mm -hmm. things happen and people pass away. So anyway, we want to protect everything that we have and be sure that our families are taken care of and that you yourself are taken care of. So he's going to be talking about all these things and we're doing a continental breakfast. And that's at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, February the 23rd. So I'll leave this with you too. Mm -hmm. But he's going to talk about all these different things about concerning your family uh who's going to have power of attorney who's going to take care of you when you maybe become disabled or maybe you're in an accident and can't do for yourself who's going to be in charge and what about your financial situation who's going to take care of this and and be sure you're covered with whatever you need to cover with so i'm gonna leave this with you okay so he will be speaking then and we're going to do another program in march and we'll announce that later mm -hmm. but it's real interesting things that um occur we need to take care of ourselves and remember knowledge is powerful so we need to be aware of what's going on around us and and take care of ourselves it's so important okay. another thing um, anything you want to ask? Uh, i just want to say uh, the, the the programs we've talked about so far they're all even even greg's program they're all free right yeah they're all they're, free they're all every free. every program's free and mm -hmm. we provide like that one that greg's doing is we're having a continental breakfast and it begins at nine o'clock okay. and it'd be about an hour and a half program whatever good and the others are lunch and so this will be announced on this radio station correct? yeah we'll, we'll keep the word out keep everybody okay. informed so Excellent. don't forget and this these programs take place in the james warren citizen center in downtown lincoln and the citizen center is across from the courthouse and is, is anyone uh you know in our listening audience even if they're not from lincoln county we can, don't care yeah come you on. come from anywhere come on come on we want you to come in and we want people to learn, be educated mm -hmm. about this. So mm -hmm. <coughs> it's really important when we think about it. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing we do in, in property extension, we have agriculture and horticulture, which includes horticulture, <coughs> and also field crops and livestock. And also FCS. I'm a family and consumer science agent. So, and one of the things we do, we, we think about plants, and we are having, and I'm not advertising really, but I'm telling you, we have a plant sale. And so the, this money is used for our programs, and it can be 4-H programs, it can be our nutrition programs that we do for, that I do with Family and Consumer Sciences, and it can be something in agriculture too. So we're trying to educate, educate. But anyway, we have some plants, made, blueberry plants and that sort of thing, grapevines and, and um raspberries and whatever so if you're interested give us a call and we've got the information and the cost and everything so these pro this the money is used and it pays for the plants of course and and any profit may goes for our program and 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 it's for the citizens of lincoln county so mm -hmm. and so it's really important so i'm a leap i don't know if you want to advertise yeah, yeah anyway. absolutely we will we certainly will but this is really important too when we think about the things that are happening with that and uh, we'll be doing some more programs in foods and nutrition, teaching some nutrition classes and uh, cooking smart and healthy and that sort of thing. So I'll send this up and we'll announce these and talk about it too. Mm -hmm. And one thing I want to mention, I'm, I'm just jumping around, it sounds like, and I am really. Uh, we're concerned about food safety. And there was just, what, Gipotle? What was it? The food poisoning with one of the restaurants recently. Mm, okay. And it's just now coming. I think everything's clear. We hope that mm -hmm. everything's okay now with this restaurant. But not only that, in, in cooking at home and, and preparing food, we want everybody to be very conscious of that because germs spread. We're in the flu season. We're in the pneumonia season. We're in all kinds of 
seasons, whatever, as far as different uh, ailments are concerned. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it's passed by germs, and a lot of it's passed by not washing your hands Mm -hmm. and preparing food and that sort of thing. So that's one thing I wanted to mention and talk about or or discuss, too, that the food safety issue. And remember when you're uh, carrying food away, there's a whole program on this, too, that you're transporting food, you're going to a meal somewhere else, you're taking your food, be sure to keep hot foods hot cold foods cold so mm-hmm. really uh, very important too mm-hmm. and cleanliness is a key and a lot of people we encourage in our classes to wear gloves when preparing food mm-hmm. and um, you have to be careful that where you're going to after you put the gloves on what are you going where are you going to put your mm-hmm. hands you know mm-hmm. doorknobs all kinds of all kinds of things yeah. have germs what about yeah it's a, it's kind of like kind of a timely topic here this sunday's super bowl sunday super bowl parties foods out on the table mm-hmm. how long could you leave certain foods out like that okay and what i always say they say two hours but some foods and think about homes that are heated or establishments or restaurants that are heated and when they have a big party and wherever they're having it whether it be a restaurant or in the home we don't want foods to stay out i would say more than an hour that like meat dishes mm-hmm. or things that have milk products in it like uh Dips, mm-hmm. you know, dips have uh, what sour cream and uh, right. cream cheese, and and I will mention I have food, have had food poisoning mm-hmm. with cream cheese on mm-hmm. the cake, so it 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 can strike and you think oh, oh. but it, think about how it it ta- doesn't take very long for things to warm up to room temperature, mm-hmm. and the danger zone of food is between forty and one hundred forty degrees, so it doesn't take long to get over forty degrees. Yeah, in a in a warm room, and when when there's people in there, that's more warmth in there too. Mm-hmm. So, that's really important. I would say an hour, in the, in the limit on foods like that. Other mm-hmm. things are okay, you know, yeah. but not anything that are meat products or anything that has milk in it, milk mm-hmm. products, that sort of thing too. Sure. We just have to be very very careful and conscious of it too. Mm-hmm. Okay, and and even food when you have things, be sure you have spoons in. I said so people won't. And if you have chips you're going to dip, don't dip it in the second time. <laughs> yeah, don't double dip. <laughs> <laughs> double dip. That's so um, important. And another thing to take into account is if, if you're having a party at someone's house and you're bringing food, mm-hmm. that travel time should also be factored yeah, in. Yeah, keep cold food cold, hot food hot. Yeah. yeah really uh-huh. important because sometimes we travel hours or mm-hmm. if you're going to, like you leave here and go to Charlotte, mm-hmm. that's an hour's drive. Mm-hmm. And, and then after it. that, you know. You're taking a dish you down there. Yeah. 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 All right. So just to be careful out there, Super Bowl Sunday. (laughs) Other events, Easter's coming up, be big family dinners, and the food's left on the table for latecomers or somebody who uh, wants a little after uh, after you have Sunday Mm -hmm. dinner. I call dinner lunch, 12. Right, that's good, yeah. yeah. Uh, You want something a little later on Mm -hmm. if it's left out on the table or or whatever, right. it should always be refrigerated. Yeah, I guess. And, and church lunches and dinners and all mm-hmm. kinds of things. I know a lot of churches have Valentine lunches and dinners, mm-hmm. so that's yeah. another lot issue of, too. A lot of parties coming up. Right. Yeah, a lot of parties. So we want you to be real careful. And, and this is just one of the areas that we cover through extension. I, I know I'm jumping around, but that's there's okay. just different things to think about. You yeah. know, so much to so much to cover. It is, in <laughs> families, you think about families, what all is concerned with families you know so it can't be too safe as far as food's concerned and food safety and that sort of thing okay and eat healthy too (laughs) eat healthy yeah so that's very important too so any other uh areas today no i think that's it for today we just want you and um, i will mention back to the ship program too there is a uh, health insurance for disability we have people who are on medicare who are 25 30 years old they're mm-hmm. disabled, mm-hmm. and they can't work anymore. They, they're, they're not, they just can't do it. They're not, you know, capable. They, they just can't. Mentally, they're okay, but physically, they're not able to work. Mm-hmm. So there's lots of people on Medicare, so don't forget that. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's assistance through Social Security, of course. There's assistance for them, for people who are limited income, so think about that. And we are in, we have a person we contact through Social Security, and she will be speaking on the 17th. Okay. That's a, a big, lot, that's a lot a of good information. Important yeah. meeting because, too. Uh, because people get so it's it's confusing. Mm-hmm. It's and we have people who have uh, degrees in physics who have come in to the ship program. Okay. We have all 
all people. So anyone is welcome. Just you have to make an appointment. Yeah, make an appointment, and you can call the uh, uh, extension the office, and we'll be giving the number frequently. But seven zero four seven three six eight four six one, and so we can be announced that we've got any. Mm-hmm. But give us a call. Yeah, you know. And really. we'll keep we'll keep reminding folks of it in the next few uh, days. All right. Well, Melinda, thank you. Let me mention one more thing. Yes, ma'am. Fraud, fraud, so important. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. Mm-hmm. And ship is big in fraud people because people are calling people on the phone. I've had IRS call me five times and yeah. say, if you don't do so and so, it's not really. The it's IRS. not really that. <laughs> so right. don't answer these calls. Hang up the phone. Mm-hmm. And people trying to sell insurance. You don't sell insurance. And people wanting people's bank cards over the phone ne- never give that your social security phone. number do no. not ever do that i mean social security doesn't do that you know they yeah. don't ask for that over the phone nothing's over no. the phone like that they don't don't tell them any personal information don't don't give them any idea when you'll be at home and when you won't be at home mm-hmm. could even be a could even be a scam somebody just trying to find out when you're going to be mm-hmm. away from home and if they knock on the door at your home and say i, I want to share with you this insurance that we have don't let them in because mm-hmm. most time we have had people in Lincoln County robbed as a result. We know of cases, and yeah. I've reported some cases of people involved, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So well. it's a scary, scary thing. Just be careful. It's all, you know, very careful. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming thank in you. today, and you be careful out there traveling back I to the it. office. It's been foggy, foggy this morning, <laughs> a little, little rain. rain. Yeah. yeah. So it's not a not a great day to be out and about out there, is it? All right, that's our community profile for today. Thanks to uh, Melinda Hauser for being here. Tell everybody down at the office hello. And anytime you guys uh, have any information you want to share, just give me a call and I will. we'll, I will. we'll do a program. We've got lots of good things going on. Okay. All right. Folks, we'll see you next time. No, no guest schedule for tomorrow as of right now, but we got a full slate of the guests next week. On a community profile, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. We've got you coming and going. You guys get me going every morning on the way to work? Every day on my way home. They go country, WHS Shelby, WLO in Lincoln, WCSL, Charitable Gastonia.